Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, and I'm Andre Valverde. The federal government is up and running again. According to NBC News, all parties agreed to a short-term deal that will keep things running until February 8th. But more negotiating must take place for a long-term plan. Yesterday, Democratic leader Chuck Schumer stepped back his demands for DACA, for DACA protections in order to allow the vote to pass. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania has declared the state's map of congressional districts unconstitutional. According to CNN, the Republican-drawn map deliberately organizes the Democrats into five districts and organizes the GOP party members everywhere else. The new map must be submitted to Governor Tim Wolf by February 9th or the court will draw an entirely new map themselves. And now, this message. Last weekend, the Model United Nations Club traveled to Yale University. 36 GHS students made the four-day trip to meet and work with high school students from all over the world. Congratulations to junior Christopher Ladopoulos, who won an honorable mention award for his work on the Joint Crisis Council, Ukrainian Crisis. Senior Lila Youssef took the Outstanding Delegate Award on the Climate Change Crisis Control, and sophomore Emily Fry took the top award for Best Delegate on her committee, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth Regional Body. The music department presents Pops Goes Disney on Saturday night, February 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available in the school store. And that's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Andre Valverde. Today is an A-Day. Have a great day.